It is finally here. <laughs> Megatail Part 16. You know, Megatail was the first thing I reacted to on my channel, but I did not know how to edit back then, so I actually don't recommend for you to go back and watch those. <laughs> but anyways, I've been waiting for this for a while now. Shout out to Mega Lucas. just... I love this series. This is a bit longer than I intended. So, let's get started. Um, well, I... Also, if the um, video volume is a bit quieter, my apologies. Um, you could just watch it yourself. I'll link it in the description. Alright. <laughs> Wait, don't we normally get the dog song warning? Warning before Red versus Nuko. Oh. It's upon this day. Again. One damage. Weak. Again. <laughs> Undyne the Undying has 30,000 health. That's twice the health of Omega Flowey. She has a freaking point. <laughs> I have no control over my magic, and I can't usually use it as a projectile. Hmm? I already know why you are not making progress. You know... Yes, but first I need you to do something. Make sure to make sure. Get up. I almost read the Spanish one. See that rock over there? It's a rock. Got it. Oh. I see what she's... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I remember Megatail Part 15. That fight was so epic. Look, I did more damage. Gotcha. What do you mean? Apparently, you are definitely not meant for direct damage. What? Look at the damage I caused. How is this considered weak? Well, you damaged an object, not a person. Do you think it was strong? <laughs> strong. <laughs> Look at your face. Und <laughs> what is with Undyne in this episode? Oh, man. You know, let me just say for the record, I love how in Megatail that the monsters are actually powerful. Like, Look at what Undyne just did. Like, in Undertale, it's stated that humans are a lot stronger than monsters, and presumably... The robots, the robots are stronger than humans here. But in Megatail, the monsters just power through everything like nothing, and Frisk actually needs help, and... Hmm. Actually, now that I look back on Episode 9, I have to admit Kara's um, power was portrayed decently. Sure, he, she only had half her soul, and when she has... Oof. We, we know what happens when Kara has full power, because, um... Well, can I ask you something? What's it? You can unleash these magical beams. Why don't you use it against enemies? Also, in Megatail 14, didn't Frisk just like rampage through a bunch of combat robots? How many genocide routes did she complete exactly? Also, I've kind of been ignoring the dialogue. <laughs> what? Listen. I just did was the release of pure magic concentrated by my fingers. But it is ineffective because it only becomes powerful when I spend a lot of time concentrating energy. Become an easy target by doing this. Uses a lot of magic. It's, un it's very unpredictable. Um, you know, Undyne holding her two fingers together reminds me of Avatar when Azula like summons lightning. Using magic weapons and all that part is 
Concentrated here, shape like 11. I read much faster in my head than out loud. I think I'm just gonna do that while Undyne explains. I'm wondering now why I actually reacted to the question and answer video. Videos, plural. She can suplex a boulder. I can faintly hear the true hero in the background. Yeah, that's what he told you. I should have rewatched Mega Tail before I reacted to this. And again, I was busy all day. I had to watch my sister and still at. I'm on Thanksgiving break and I still have tests. Ha! Huh. I just love Undyne's face and her teeth. She has like yellow pirate teeth. A few attempts later. And I like the snow particles. Oh. Roar. <laughs> Those fierce, concentrated eyes. Wait, wasn't this like the trailer? I also remember Mega Lucas doing a live stream on this. Huh. Well, he did beat the... C rap out of a ton of combat robots. Or at least your last one did. You know, I'm wondering something. In episode 6, Gaster was like very powerful. Like when a robot scanned him, it, it, it literally exploded. <laughs> what if Skell scanned Gaster? Make him attack me. Let's test his strength. And again, we don't know where Gaster disappeared to. <laughs> Any problem? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> How not? Wait, did he say that? How I wonder a lot of things. How do I explain so much? Hmm. Oh. If they have zero attack and defense, then that makes them more fragile than Sans. It's made of snow. Does he have ears? Well, that was worth a try. What? <laughs> He's gonna say no because it's too cute. No way. <laughs> Can I try something different? No use. He will not obey you. I will destroy him. He's actually gonna put up a fight, isn't he? Ah. I get it. It's like the Iron Giant. <clears throat> hmm. 
Also, I really like the design on Mega's armor. Oh! He ate the speed. Oh, wait. Undyne loves a good fight, doesn't she? Not bad. Let's review some things. He's made of snow. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, all the music. Why? <laughs> and it's nighttime. You better listen while I talk. Oh. Undyne and Mega went looking for Red. Oh. That also explains the teaser. Hold on. There's a restaurant over there. Well, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm wondering if he is going to make an appearance. Nice beard. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yes, she was. I have to say, I did not expect Nuko to be as powerful as he was in the, um, battle. <clears throat> you could hear that all the way from here. Yeah, she straight up swung her sword and it cut a mountain open. Then again, Kara literally once slashed the entire universe and all of its timelines, so... Actually, what if Kara had her full soul, meaning she had her full power and... Hmm. What if Kara met Nuko, because... Would... Was Nuko... Th I don't think he was in the underground when the monsters got shut in. 
from the looks of it, but... Y yes Oh, shut up. I lost my train of thought. Hmm. I hate you. It, you're calling literally so many people out. But it's the other way around. What? <laughs> Determination. Okay, I remember now. Nuka wants determined humans dead, and Kara wants humans dead in general. Since Nuka is part monster, would Kara team up with him? And because Kara um grew attached and lived with monsters, would Nuka team up with her? I have yet to wonder that. Oh, exactly. I keep telling every Undertale player, what would you do if you couldn't abuse your power? How many times would you have failed and humanity would have been destroyed because you couldn't get past Undyne or Sans in genocide? <laughs> oh! I Oh! <laughs> what do you mean, why can't you hit him? Then why is he dodging you? Oh. <laughs> you suck. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, I freaking loved it. <laughs> she wasn't joking. It sounds like I'm not paying attention when I start to talk about something. Well, that's half true. I feel like I already know what part 17 will be. Sans and Papyrus versus Skell. Unless... Metaton Neo makes an appearance. Yeah. That's what I was thinking would happen. Is Mega like a pacifist person? Like, is that why he commanded his robots not to kill anyone? And why he just... Why does he want to send the monsters back underground? Or at least why did he? Yeah. Guy was a jerk. You know, <clears throat> if I lived in the world of Undertale, I would probably be like Kara if I had determination. I wouldn't want to use it. I'd rather stay dead. I do not need to live forever, just long enough to watch you die. Oh.
When was the last time you saw him? Oh, wait. Why am I asking that? Oh! I forgot she got a crystal through her arm. Reminds me of a dream I had recently. Hmm. Next morning, Red is recovering. You know, admittedly, I could give the middle finger to the Undertale fandom. For the Undertale fandom, it's just sans, 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 sans. Practically every alternate universe is sans. There are more sanses than there are actual other characters. Press when you wake up. So, I actually respect when there's like a different character, like Mega or Nuko or Betty Neuer. You know. <sighs> I also hate how everyone sees Kara as the villain and treats her like she's weak. I say that often, don't I? Hmm. Red, haven't you been here? Wouldn't you know this? Oh yeah, this was the teaser, or part of it. A message from Mr. Someone, I think it was Mr. N? Hmm. What is this? Yeah. Right there with you. Who is... Mr. N. I knew it. Red, and that guy has red goggles. Wait. Is there anything left? <laughs> oh man, I waited so long for this and the wait was worth it, I'll tell you. <clears throat> I did a heavy line. Let me, re re let me redo that line. I do not need to live forever, just long enough to watch Megatail. I'm really not in the best mental condition, but very, very well done, Mega Lucas. I enjoyed that. <laughs> well then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. I love Mega Tail. <laughs>